King Ball is similar to Dodge Ball with some slight differences. In Dodge Ball, once you are tagged out, then you sit on the sideline until someone can bring you back into the game. In King Ball, if you are tagged out in the war zone, you are not out of the game. You go to the opposite end of your war zone to assist your king and queen. King Ball is a game that can be played with a minimum of 10 to a maximum of 40 players. It is played either on two of the thirds of a netball court, otherwise an area of 15 metres by 6 metres, halved into 3 metres by 15 metres, can be marked out using cones. It can either be played on concrete or grass. Before the game commences, all teams will enter the assigned rectangle or war zone, and from there a king and a queen will be selected and sent across to the back of the opposing team's rectangle, as seen in this diagram and on the video. The king and queen from each team will begin with a ball each. At the sound of the ref's whistle, the game will commence. If any of the players in the war zone are deemed out, then they would go and join the king and queen at the opposite end, where they will help shoot at their opponents. Be aware that there will be balls flying at you from either direction, either being shot by the king and queen or by their players in the war zone. A player can be tagged out if a ball thrown by an opponent hits them anywhere from the shoulders down. If it's a headshot, the victim remains in play and they, and they gain possession of the ball. The ball can rebound of one player to as many more, which would mean that all players that were hit with the ball are out. In the current de demonstration on the screen, if a ball is thrown by the king, queen or their team members from the back line, and it passes through the opponent's war zone without making contact with anyone and then it tags one of their own players and that or those players are not deemed up. However, if it does make contact with one of the, the opponents before it goes into the king and queen's area, war zone, and then it makes contact with one of their players, then okay, so that I'm player would be out. If a player is hit with the ball by an, an opponent on the full, and it rebounds off him or her into the air and it is caught by a co-player he or she is saved however if the co-player drops the ball then they are both out don't cut through the, their war zone, you need to go around the outside and join your king and queen on the other side. If I throw a the player is out if he or she attempts to catch a ball the full, thrown at them by an opponent up, okay? and he or she drops it on the full. If he drops it while trying to catch it, then he is out and he would go across and join his king and queen on the other side. And he would leave the ball in this area. As opposed to catching the ball on the full, note that if a player attempts to catch a, a bounce ball and drops it, he or she is not deemed out unless the bounce ball makes contact with any other part of the body besides the hands during the process of trying to catch it. I'm still in the game, so it's okay to catch the ball when it bounces. And if you drop, don't be scared to catch the ball if it bounces. So throw it. Okay, I'm dodging. But I decide to try and catch it, but I drop it, that's okay, you're safe. However, if you try and catch it when it bounces, and it actually, you try and catch it like that, and it actually hits your legs first before your hands, then you are out, okay? A player is out if they step outside of the boundary lines during the process of dodging a ball. If I'm throwing the ball at him and he goes to dodge and he jumps out of the boundary line, 
then he is out, okay? Whether it's the back boundary line or this front boundary line. Or the side line as well. A ball can only be held for 5 seconds before you need to throw it. If you hold it any longer than 5 seconds, the ball is given over to the other team. Position of ball, okay, if the ball goes out on this team's sideline, that sideline here, or that sideline over there, then the yellow team, they can run out, bring the ball back into play, okay, and carry on, okay? If the ball goes in the front, okay, across this boundary line, then it belongs to these guys. If it goes behind the back boundary line, it belongs to the king and the queen and their uh, soldiers at the back or their men at the back. If someone throws a ball at you, the ball can be used as a blocking instrument the if the opponents throw another ball at you. A blocking instrument, okay? so you can block However, it. if but using the ball as a blocking instrument and you drop it, that is counted as a drop ball and you are out. If I use this ball to block and I actually drop the ball when I get a block, okay, like that, then I am out because of in actual fact, I have actually dropped a ball. Okay. The kings and queens can come into the war zone once only at any time throughout the game to try and save the their team. They have two lives each. 